Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the third boss of Black Tower, or the Generals. So, my point of view will be on spear side and not shield side. I've always been doing spear side since the beginning. On both sides, the mechanics are more or less the same. So, I will be explaining spear side on this video specifically. Anyway, let's get into the video. So we can see here that I'm on spear side. So you can see that the spear side is always red and the shield side is always blue. So for the spear side, you want to make sure that the blue lasers hit him and the red lasers do not hit him. For the shield side, it's the other way around. You don't want the blue lasers to hit the boss, but you want the red lasers to hit the boss. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, as always, you blow the whistle if you're a raid leader. Make sure your team is ready. So now I tell my party, yep, you can go. You can see here on the spear side, you want a ranged tank. For us, it is Omni, which is a shadow gunner. So he's shooting him first in order to maintain aggro. Once he's maintained aggro, we as a team want to move to the back wall over here. The main reason we want to move to the back wall over here is because if we get knocked back, we won't go into this death zone. So you can see over here, I'll draw a little square thingy my bob. You can see over here that over here is is where we can fight. However, if we get knocked out to this zone over here or this zone or anywhere that's not anywhere that's not in this zone, you will instantly die because it is a death zone. So you just want to chill here because at the back over here there's a wall. So when you get hit, you'll get bounced back on the wall and nothing will happen. And you know, you just take damage and you don't die. Okay, so let's continue. You can see that our range tank over here is just blocking. On the shield side, on the other side, you just use a melee. You can just use a regular uh, melee tank. The reason why spear side needs a range tank is because if you stand too close to him, he will shoot this molten lava thing on the floor, which hurts a lot. So you can see here that he does this wind up attack over here. So over here, you want to make sure you either block it or iframe it because it does hurt a lot. Um, it's usually better to just block. However, we don't do any of that. And you can see, pay close attention to my team's HP over here. Boom. You see, everyone lost like 50% of their health because they all got hit. However, Jay over here blocked, so he didn't take any damage. So the moment you see that wind-up attack, just don't attack and start blocking. So other than that, you just want to normally DPS until his CC bars over here open up. So it's just free DPS. You want to make sure that both sides have even DPS because you need to kill these, these two bosses at the same time. So, you know, we're still shooting, we're still waiting. Usually you'll see me look left, uh, look right and left is the main reason is because I'm just looking for lasers. However, the lasers don't spawn until the CC bars over here open up. So you can see here that I'm at 63% HP and over here Omni gets a little bit too close to the boss and he does his ground slam. You see that he does his ground slam over here and now there's this firing damage thing that stacks up really fast. So you want to get out of it immediately from I dropped 20% HP. So I want to get out of that, so I move back a little bit, and I keep attacking. But because of this ground stomp, now Rin, our KFM, can't do any damage. He has to stand here because if he goes into melee range or within this red uh, AoE, he is going to take a lot of damage. So you can see here General Moyan is analyzing the intruder's weakness, and his CC bars are now open. Now you want to look left and right and just check what color laser is first. So you can see I'm looking left, I'm looking right, I still don't see the lasers. Okay, so I saw the red laser there. So I call out, okay, red laser is coming. So since we know that spear side does not want to be hit by the red laser and wants to get hit by the blue laser, now we need to time our stuns, make sure that we stun the boss in time, and then either a KFM or anyone with a knockoff knocks the boss into the air to avoid the red laser. So you can see here, we're timing it, we're timing it. You can see the red laser is coming really close now, now, and right here. Once the laser goes past your safety square, which is over here, once it hits around like here, uh, usually that's when we pull off our stun. On a visual representation, it's like right here, where the laser is right now. You see this area right here? Once it's here, you want to stun. Usually on spear side, we would call uh, stun now, or we'll say 3, 2, 1 stun, or something like that. Uh, depending on how fast your team's reaction is. So you see we stunned and then we do a knock up right before 
the laser hits him. You can see our KFM over here, Rin knocks him up. You do not want to extend the aerial because you want to drag the boss down immediately so that the blue laser hits him. You can see immediately once the blue laser hit him, he went from 81% HP to 75% HP. And then we just continue DPSing and then you'll see that his CC bars will close and then soon later the shield side CC bars will open. So there's one thing to keep in mind on the shield side. Even if it does get hit by the blue laser, it won't enrage the boss. The boss will just heal a little bit of HP and that's it. The one that really matters is spear side. You want to make sure that the spear side does not get hit by the red laser. If the spear side gets hit by the red laser more than three times, the boss will enrage immediately and it will wipe the team. Shield side on the other hand is a lot more lenient. It can get hit by the blue laser as many times as it wants. It'll just heal and it's uh, it won't enrage. So we just DPS again until it says here General Moyan is analyzing the intruder's weakness again. Over here his CC bars will open. Again I want to look left and right just to see what color laser is coming first. And I can see oh a blue laser is coming. So we want him to get hit by the blue laser. So the way I time it is once the blue laser hits about here, it's like this close to me, I will, I will do my stun. You can see now I stun as the laser is about to hit me. Boom, that's my stun right there. And then the rest of my team follows up with the stun. And then Rin over here, it needs to do a knock up. So you can see here that Rin did his knock up a little bit late. Uh, thus it says here General Moyan is fully charged. So this is one stack. If he gets if he gets three stacks, he will instantly wipe the entire team. But since we have a lot of damage, it doesn't really matter that we can just keep continuing and DPSing and being on our way. So here again, it says General Moyan is analyzing the intruder's weakness. The, the boss is at 14%, shield side is still on 25%. So you see a red laser coming. Again, we want to knock him over the red laser and let the blue laser hit him. So you can see here, the laser is about, it just got past our safety zone. We immediately stun and then we do the perfect knock up and we want him to land down so that the blue laser will hit him now. And boom, there we go. Make sure, uh, keep in mind, whenever the blue laser hits the boss, it will take off some of his HP. And now we need to sync up the two kills. We need to kill spear side and shield side at around the same time. So over here you can see that our entire team is just holding DPS because our boss is at 7%. We're waiting for shield side over here which is on 17% to catch up. So we're just going to wait until they finish their knock up mechanic. Once they finish knocking up then we will attack and kill both bosses at the same time. So they finish their knock up mechanic. He's got 9%, at 8%, 7% and now we say okay let's go let's go let's go. And this is when we just burst. So you can see that this 3%, 2%, 1%, 1% and that boss is dead. We've got 2 million HP left. We're bursting, we're bursting, we're bursting and boom, he's dead. And that's it really. It's quite simple. This boss is not a very difficult boss. It's just about timing. It's just about stunning and then knocking up. The person who stuns, make sure that they know what they're doing and then just let everyone else follow up. And then also another thing is being on voice comms helps a lot because you can tell people I'm stunning in 3, 2, 1, stun and then everyone stuns at the same time and thus the knock up, the person doing the knock up knows when the stuns hit and when to knock up. And that's about it for this boss. It's not very difficult, it's quite simple, it just takes a little bit of practice and that's it. Anyway, I hope this video helped and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, so